Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you like these sort of videos where I'm doing makeup, vlogs, um, skincare and fashion, then it would really help me out if you guys would subscribe to my channel. Uh, just click the bell down below and it'll let you know when, I'm, um, when I've released a new video. Can I say that correctly? No. But today I've got a really good video. Um, it is my November buys. So since I joined um, Out of Makeup with Alex Kate Patreon group, if you want to spend loads of money on makeup, then that's a place you need to be. Um, maybe not for my bank account, but I've had really um, like loads of fun this month buying loads of new makeup. And obviously I've got this channel now, so it's a perfect excuse to like, buy loads. So yeah, we're going to jump straight into it. So I'm just going to grab my box. Oh, it's like overflowing it's a huge box. Oh, so as you can tell, it's huge. There are some things at the bottom like organise a bit, so I guess if I took that out it wouldn't be so big. But yeah, this is the basket. I'm going to put it next to me here. So I don't have to have that on my lap. I haven't used it yet, so it's still got like the film on the front, but I am really excited to play with this and see how it goes. If you guys want a video on this, uh, me testing this out, then sub um, subscribe. Comment down below and I can make sure I do that. I've heard some really good reviews about that palette, so I am looking forward to trying it. I also went to Revolution and I bought a glitter palette. Yeah, it's, it's for oils, sorry. Um, I am excited to try this and use a few Christmassy looks. Perfect excuse to use like loads of shimmer on your eyes for Christmas. I also got the um, Beauty Bay was doing like the Black Friday sale so I got these for like six quid I think something like that six seven pounds. Um, the BH Mimosa palette. I did a look with this I haven't filmed one so maybe I'll do that um, using this palette and I absolutely loved it. I love this palette. Uh, the shimmers are a bit Avocado Toast, uh, the BH one. Again, this was six pounds, six, seven pounds. Um, they had an offer on. I haven't used this yet. Again, if you guys would like me to do a video using this and let me know, that's how it looks. It's loads of greens and I'd seen um, Lizzie Dimitrio, I think that's how you pronounce her name. Sorry, Lizzie. She's also in makeup with Alex's Kate Patreon group. Her collection is amazing. If you guys want such a good relaxing um, video uh, to watch Liz is your girl so she did a really nice makeup look on that uh, look up, look on that I also got the blueberry muffin palette which looks like this I'm so excited I will be doing a look on this the blue look but it looks so nice I'm so excited to try that oh I'm just going to pop them back in, back in the sleeve. Heat palette, naughty palette. I love this palette. I haven't done a video, but I will do a video using this. Um, I think all her eyeshadow palettes I really love. And I'm hoping for Christmas, the Mercury retrograde one. Um, all the girls in Makeup with Alex's Kate Patreon group um, say that's their favourite one and the must have. The shimmers are amazing. I love the shimmers in this palette. Um, I think I got it on Boots with like student discount. Um, and I loved it. So I'm just going to turn it upside down so you guys can see. Love this palette. I'm going to take that out of the packaging now. I don't really need this. But it's cute. I like how it's um, like a burgundy brown. Uh, clear. For a little bit. I got this on a declutter from Clara Blush. Um, she's amazing. If you guys don't follow Claire on, uh, I think she's got an Instagram and a YouTube channel, then you must. But she hadn't even touched this. I just swatched a few shades and I really wanted this when it came out. So I got a declutter from her. So I love this. I think it has some like on holidays if you just want like a shimmer over the lid and some nice shades some nice browns and it's got a few pops of colours if you wanted to use a few pops of colours on your holiday so I think that's a perfect like summer bronze eyeshadow palette so I'll definitely try and do some looks with that. I also got the Carly Bible Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. 
I did never got this. Um, I swatched a few shades. Uh, I'm so excited to try film a look with this. I've heard some really good reviews and I really do. My favourite, one of my favourite, like all time favourite palettes is the Modern Renaissance palette. I really do love um, Anastasia's eyeshadow formulas. I really do think they're worth it, in my personal opinion. I'm going to try and do some. I'm kind of going to try and do like all my revolution ones together, but they just peak uh, makeup with Alex's Patreon group. So I got some Juvia's place palettes. I got the Nomad by Juvia's, so that's what that looks like. Haven't played with that yet, but as you can see, it's barely even been used. Guys, this is something that I personally like to do. Obviously, it's not for everyone, but um, a lot of the stuff hadn't been used. I just swatched, so, and I cleaned it when I got back. This is the Warrior 2. And the Tribe by Juvia's. I did go into a few of these shades and I'm so excited to create a look with this. I think it'll really push me out of the comfort zones, like these three end colours, because I've never really played um, around with like blues and stuff. The same with the Blueberry Muffin palette by BH, but I am looking forward to it and just to see how they appear on my eyes because I'm a blue eyed girl so. Um, I'm not sure if that'll clash or whether it'll work, but we'll see and you guys can watch with me. Oh, I've got loads of Revolution stuff. Well, hadn't even been used. I've swatched all these shades. They are genuine. The Kylie Pro palette. I am so excited to give this a shot um, and see how this goes. I haven't seen many YouTube reviews on this or people using it, so I am quite looking forward to maybe like creating fun few colourful looks because there's quite a mixture of like obviously these are like your bright and neon colours and then obviously you've got your warm shades over there so maybe which hadn't been used apart from when I've put my paws into it the little black book of bronzers this is from Lucy Stevenson's idea of her makeup she forgot about and she really loved this so I thought I would pick it up it's amazing I wish I got this before I have a few of Too Faced bronzers but not in a big black book like this it's such a cool idea, I really do love this, so thank you Lucy, if you guys haven't watched her, highly suggest you do, she is lovely. And then I got a Saharan blush by Juvia's Place, I tried this in my, one of my videos, I don't know if that'll be up yet, but it's a pumpkin spice palette and I really did love this. I used these two shades and I love this, it was a contour palette. I've gone harm into this but I love this and this again was from recommendation from Makeup with Alex Kate. It smells like chocolate, like cocoa. It smells wonderful and it is very good, very good for carving out and I like how it has the three different skin tones so um, it really does work for everyone which I really do appreciate. Um, picked up a, um, a few Charlotte Tilbury bits, I think I picked up maybe four or five Charlotte Tilbury bits. Um, the first one is their Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I've fallen in love with this. It is so good. It really does set your face. It doesn't leave any like watermarks on your face. It's amazing. I highly, highly recommend. I know it's expensive, but it's coming up to Christmas. Maybe ask for it as a present. I really, really do enjoy this. Highly recommend. Um, so yeah, that's another thing that I picked up. And I picked up from um, Glow, the Instant Soft Focus Beauty Glow Primer. I haven't really given this a fair shot yet. I've only kind of swatched the look of it on the back of my hand. I have seen a lot of people speak about this, so I got, which I know a lot of people have been raving about, but I'm new to the hype, um, is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in Fair. I have used it, I do think it's really nice. I need to play with it, I need to play around with it a bit more to be able to say with the Beauty Bay, if I can hold them all up with my hand. All of the Beauty Bay um, eyeshadow shimmers. Uh, I got them all three sets, I think they were like, instead of being 15 pounds, so I'm very happy about these. I also picked up the new foundation that I know a lot of other YouTubers have been using, the NARS um, Soft Matte Foundation, and I got this in the shade Light 3 Gobi and Light 4 Dioville, Dio Dio so I got this in two shades. Now I'm going to tell you guys the first time I used it, 
I don't know whether I what I put on with that foundation, but it showed every single dry patch. I mean, it looked I can't like it looked horrible. Is the only word I mean. Yeah. Um, the next thing I went in with was such a bargain on Depop. It hadn't even been opened. It had full packaging, and it was their last year's um, Christmas collection. So I got this, and I'm gonna quickly grab out because I don't think I picked that one up. Um, I've used that one. Um, sorry, I don't think I've grabbed that out of my box, um, my makeup storage. It was this, so it's like a highlighter, a bronzer, and a blusher. I got the Too Faced primer. I got a mini gingerbread. Um, liquid lip which I do really enjoy their too like their lipsticks. I think they're really comfortable and I love the smell of the gingerbread. Um so I got this I think that as well. I think I got a mini one. I'll see if I can find that but look how stunning and I will be creating some looks with this because I feel like it's very Christmassy and it just smells lovely. But I think I got it for twenty pounds so and usually I know it's a lot more than that. And it's brand new, hasn't been touched. So I was buzzing with that purchase and the packaging is very... This is in again, Focus. Oh, it looks stunning. It looks like a champagne -y gold, quite similar to the Becca. Um, a Becca highlighter. Nail highlighter in extra. And I haven't used this yet. I've just swatched it. It looks stunning. I know I love it. So that was another little buy off um, Depop. And I had to get this. It was the um, Revolution Night Before Christmas collection. So I did get the full collection. I've got the lipsticks behind me. Um, I've swatched it. I don't think I'm too impressed, to be honest. I don't know if the lights are too bright, but it looks like that. It's kind of like a peachy soft glow. I think it's going to be very similar to the... I did get the Disney one. I think it's going to be very similar to that. But we will do a full face testing. The... Jack Revolution makeup because uh, I know you guys might get it for like Christmas presents or something so we'll test that out um, that's the next one this is Misfit Love oh sorry so this one the first one I showed you was Moonlight Mischief and Madness and then this one that I'm now showing you is Misfit Love I've still got it covered it looks deeper for a deeper skin tone again it looks like it's going to be a soft highlighter by Revolution the Nightmare Before Christmas you guys have probably already seen this in a ton of other videos. So that's what Sally looks like. I will do a video creating this, like I said, at some point before Christmas. So you guys can kind of see how it applies for. And if it's still in stock, then you guys can probably Christmas Revolution one. This is him. Let me know which one you guys would prefer to see first. These lights are so bright on it. That's why I'm there. I'm excited to play with these. Um, just to see how they perform. Um, so yeah. Where's... I think I'm going blind. Genuinely think I'm going blind. Um, so I also picked up... These were on sale for like so cheap. And I had so many points. I managed to like basically get these for like three, four pounds each when they're like 15. So I was buzzing. So I got all three. All six of the xx revolution um eyeshadow palettes i was so buzzing when i got these um i will be doing like maybe a look each week and um, doing a different one and then at the end of the week yeah so actually let's go back i might do a video every day going through these and then at the end rounding up um which one was my favorite it came on there but it has like the shade names on that plastic sheet but some of them have them and some of them don't. But that's kind of how it looks. This is stunning. I'm so excited to play with these. Oh, oh. I don't know if you guys seen that. It's safe. It's safe. So yeah, um, we'll do. Again, it has like the thing there. It's so nice. And then Exodius. The week, this is what I was saying. This one doesn't have like the names on them. But this is pretty. It looks similar to the white one in so Exodius and Bare Looks. They look quite similar. And then a pink one in Expectation. 
Again, this doesn't didn't have a, like a sheet. Um, it had a sheet over, but not the names on the sheet, which I found weird. But we we move. So that's what that looks like. And then we have a black one in tuxedo. I'm not dying about this one. I'm going to be honest. Um, but I do want to give it a go because I think it's got like a good amount of mattes and a good amount of shivers, shimmers that I can kind of come up with like quite a nice look and then the blue one which I'm going to be honest it looks like it's going to be my absolute favourite like I said I've never really played with blues but something about this one is really calling and um, again this one didn't have a um like the names on the sheets but look how pretty this is it looks stunning the blemish cheap scent sicilic acid the targeted blemish solution i had already gone through one of these the small original version trail this time i got the super sized um i am i loved this i thought it was so good for my skin it's starting to look a lot better now so i bought another one um obviously i'd gone through the first bottle so i really do like this i highly recommend you guys pick it up but again i'll link everything in the description bar below so you guys can see and then for another skincare product is the lip sleeping mask i got this me and my boyfriend have both been putting this on and we love it we really think it's made a difference to our lips we've used it i would say for about two weeks now um on and off so i'm not gonna be honest that we've worn on it two weeks every night sometimes we've forgotten but i highly recommend you get one of these and i know they're on offer at the minute so for like four pounds or something like that 560. the next one i'm gonna go in with is their Again, Lizzie Dimitrio, it's you. So if you're watching this, this is because of your uh, your Revolution palettes that I bought these four palettes. These are from their Tasty range. I'm going to get them out from the bottom if it lets me. I'm going to open all these and then I'll come back. Oh, I will open them. So I got the watermelon, the avocado, the peach and the chilli. So I'm really excited. Let's have a look. I haven't opened them yet because the postman literally just came and then because I was waiting for him all day to come and post um, and give it to me. So we'll open them together. <sighs> Stunning. I'm definitely going to do another week where I film this. All four of these after each other. I think that'll be so fun. Again, like I know a lot of people might pick up some or ask for Revolution stuff for Christmas. So I think this will be such a fun look. Doesn't smell like watermelon though. Maybe I think I was expecting it to smell like what the food, but guess not. The avocado. I'm excited to try this one. This looks stunning again. Oh, some lovely blues and greens in there. Some lovely shimmers. Again. Amazing. I'm so excited to play with this. Oh wow. Do you know what I might do? Because I've got the avocado palette and I know there's one with BH. I might compare that. That'd be cool. And then the chili palette, which I don't know if you guys can see on there, but it's a bit dirty on the leaf. That's a bit annoying. Hmm. So this is the chili palette. Yeah, that's cool. I quite like that. I think I'd be able to come up with a nice, quite a nice look. It's very like red and hot, obviously like a chili. It's got some nice, like, quite intense colours. So I think that'll be fun to play with again. Five. Um. So I picked up the new neutral passion palette. This looks stunning. Again, these are the ones that I just got from the postman, so I haven't actually had a look. These look amazing. Oh my gosh, like a pink or purple, like glittery look. That would be a romance. This looks nice, actually. I don't really have something like that yet. This reminds me of the Mercury Retrograde one that the girls in the chat keep speaking about. Um, and now this one is the Blushed Revolution Pro, Pro New Neutral Palette. I like that. I'm not blown away by it, but I do like it. I think it is lovely. The 24K gold. I know I love this because I love my gold colours on my eye. It's stunning. Oh, I love that. And then last but not least is... 
They look very similar to me. What do you guys think? They look very similar. This one just looks like a bigger palette. Hmm, interesting. Top three, Aurora, Ariel and Snow White. Um, I'm going to open them and show you. I did, oh, I've been swatching them for the girls in the YouTube group. Um, this is Snow White. Uh, just to show them how they swatched. This is Aurora. I will be doing some looks with this at some point. I do like them, but I'm not like blown away by them. This is probably the one that I would probably use the most. I'm just blown away by the red. I think it really boosts up the palette. This is Ariel. So that's them three. Now going on, that's all my like eyeshadow palettes things. I'm gonna, I've got four, five, six um, lip bits and then that's my monthly buys. <sighs> so I got the Charlotte Tilbury lip kit in Pillow Talk. So that included a lip liner, a liquid lip, the lipstick and a lip gloss. I do really like the colour um, and I think it's a good to start off with these small ones. Um, would I repurchase? I think I'm going to have to play around with it a bit more to say would I repurchase it. Um, I go for more of like a brownie uh, nude and this is more of a pinky nude so I would have to say whether I would repurchase this and let you guys know. Um, I do think it's a good way to test them out though and obviously I did get Claire's discount from Makeup with Alex's kits. Um, Patreon group so thank you Claire if you're watching this and then again in that little set I got the gingerbread um, melted matte lipstick I thought I would show you guys I will use this in a video testing out the last year's Christmas collection and then I got the four lip glosses from the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas collection so I got this in Jack, Sally, Oogie Boogie and Zero I will do a full test and look on this, so I will swatch them in that video. Uh, I haven't done one yet, but I will, and I'll, if it is up, I will have it linked down below or um, at the side at the end. But yeah, that is my makeup buys for November. I know it's a lot. I have pictures with this with my own money, um, and I know it's a lot. It's not for everyone, but with me starting out on YouTube, I really wanted to get some really good content out there before Christmas, uh, and I love Revol Revolution. I think they're a really great brand that's why it's so much revolution I think it's cheap affordable it has some good tubes and I really want to be honest as well about what I do what I don't like as you can tell there's quite a lot of um a few high-end brands um drugstore so we'll do a mix on this channel but if, I would really really appreciate if you guys could like this video comment down below what you think you would want to see in my next videos or what you'd like me to test what to get next month um and also subscribe if you like this kind of content. But thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!